2 minute christianity 50 big ideas every christian should understand chapter 25 transcendental argument have you ever thought about what grounds the laws of logic and mathematics we know they work but why the christian apologist has a quick answer god sustains them and nothing besides god could explain the existence of something as fundamental as logic the transcendental argument for god challenges the atheist to resolve this any other way in response let's consider physics one branch of science dependent on logic and math we have never gotten physics from christianity before so why go to christianity now to find the fundamental basis for physics the bible explains how everything got started but science shows with evidence that the bible is wrong there's a difference between having an answer based on faith and having an answer backed up by evidence no honest seeker of the truth says i don't know what causes this so therefore i do know it must have been god apologists sometimes undercut the relationship of god to logic when they dodge puzzles like can god make a rock so heavy he can't lift it they'll respond that god can't do anything illogical he can't make an impossibly heavy rock a square circle or a married bachelor they say the question is ill-formed but by dodging this pitfall they land in another as god's actions become constrained by an external logic if god is bound by logic logic isn't arbitrary god can't change it and he didn't create it he acts logically because he must just like the rest of us suppose god exists and he created arithmetic were god's hands tied in creating arithmetic or did he have some creative control for example 2 plus 2 equals 4 in our universe could god have made 2 plus 2 equals 9 if so prove it and if not god was obliged to make arithmetic the way it is and unable to create any other kind here again he answered to an external reality but let's assume the apologist's argument and see what happens they say our familiar logic is the way it is because god made it so and a godless universe might have no logic are different logical truths in our universe for example the law of identity says x can't be the same thing as not x something can't simultaneously be a rock and not a rock but the apologists are claiming that something might be a rock and not a rock in a godless universe or maybe that a godless universe would be a universe without properties could a property less universe even exist these claims are groundless without evidence arguments like the ontological design cosmological and transcendental arguments are all deist arguments which means that if they were convincing the christian would be no further in showing it was the christian god in charge rather than any other god asking why we have our familiar physical laws and not others is a fair question but it gives no evidence for the supernatural god did it is simply a repackaging of i don't know because it tells us nothing new how did god do it why did god do it who is he and where did he come from since the apologist has no answers with evidence to each of these new fundamental questions let's just save a step and not replace a natural unknown with a supernatural one what do you think add a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to read the text of this chapter with references go to two minute christianity.com and search for this chapter or buy the book and get all 50 chapters at once thanks for your interest